Hi, I'm Olivia, and you're watching Via Christina. Is Olivia even a person? Is Olivia an emotion? Is she Ooh. a place? We don't know. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is my first video that I'm uploading, so if you're watching this when I first upload it, happy 2021. And I hope that this year is going to bring a lot of joy and happiness. I feel like 2020 was really a year for healing, and I feel like this year is really the year to get our grind on, if you know what I mean. So um, if that's how you're feeling, just stay with me, keep on watching. If that's not how you're feeling, that's okay. You can still keep watching anyway. I mean, you don't have to grind in 2021. You can heal in 2021 as well. Teach their own. First thing I'd like to say is if you see paint on my hands or anywhere under my nails, I'm not dirty, it's paint. I like to paint, sorry. <laughs> Second thing I'd like to say is this is gonna be kind of an intro to my channel and to me. So if you think you might wanna watch this channel, then this will kind of help you gauge if this is the type of content that you're looking for probably. So let's just get into it. Um, my name is Olivia, I'm 19 years old and I'm currently studying communication studies with a minor in psychology in college. I'm a sophomore in college and I'm very excited for what communication studies is going to bring me in the future. I really like the major so far and I'm just really interested in marketing, advertising. Companies like Buzzfeed and Refinery29 really interest me and I feel like a major in communication studies can kind of help me go kind of in that route. I'm minoring in psychology, one, because if I do a marketing job, I feel like that kind of, I get to know people's brains, so I know like what interests them, as well as, um, I just think it's interesting. I feel like a lot of people just think it's interesting. So going into this new year, like I said, 2020, I feel like was really a year for healing and learning for a lot of people. And 2021, I really just wanted to be the year that all of us get our grind on, get it together, and for me, 2021 is really gonna be the year that I stop pretending that, you know, embarrassment is real because it's not. Embarrassment isn't real. Um, <laughs> literally, the feeling of embarrassment, it's you're only embarrassed if, not if something embarrassing happens because who's to say that it's embarrassing? You know what I mean? Like, nothing's embarrassing if you don't feel embarrassed. So just stop feeling embarrassed. Literally, if anything happens, just laugh at yourself and just move on. That's how I'm gonna live my life this year because I don't have time to sit around and feel embarrassed, you know? Like nothing's embarrassing anymore. I'm gonna trip over myself and fall flat on my face and get up and laugh because that's funny. It's not embarrassing. <laughs> you wanna get into that mindset? Like I said, please join me here. Another thing I'd like to say is this filming setup. I'm currently at home, so I do go to school and I live on campus at school but this is my current guest bedroom. It used to be my sister's bedroom, but now it's the, it's the guest bedroom at my house. So um, this is the setup for now, but it probably won't be like this for long. I will be filming in my apartment. So, oh my God, there's so many car noises. So like I was saying, this used to be my sister's room. I do have an older sister. It's just me and her, so I'm the youngest child. I'm also a Libra with a Virgo rising and Capricorn moon. So if you want to stereotype me, based on the fact that I'm the youngest child and a Libra. I'm also a cusp baby, so October 22nd, born between Libra and Scorpio. Stereotype me all you want. I'm giving you the information. And along with that, I'm also a cat person. I was forced into being a cat person though because I've never had a dog. I did when I was like one years old, but I don't remember. So I have three cats, love them dearly. They're the cutest, but yeah, I am a cat person. So once again, stereotype me all you want. <laughs> Another thing I would like to say is I used to have a channel here on YouTube with my boyfriend. This is not my first channel, but unfortunately we broke up. So those videos are currently privated because the day that we broke up, we got a bunch of dislikes and I didn't really understand. So I just privated everything. <laughs> so I privated everything that day because I didn't want to deal with people disliking stuff and you know, sending hate. Like I was already dealing with a lot. Like we had just broken up, you know, but I don't know why people were doing that. So, um, if you ever see my face here on YouTube again, if those videos go public again, I don't really have a problem with them being on the internet, but um, they might just stay privated. I don't really know, but that's, if you've seen me before, that's probably where you've seen me <laughs> because I don't really have anything like super, I mean, I have, I have social media, but you know, other than that, we broke up uh, right around when Folklore and Evermore were coming out. So I would just like to personally thank Taylor Swift for getting me through that. And along with other artists, Julia Michaels really helped me with that. And some artists that I love, 
just so dearly. Um, number one man on planet Earth, Harry Styles. Love that man, loved him since I was 12 years old. Saw One Direction on the Where We Are tour. I've seen Harry twice on tour. Planned to see him in October. Was supposed to see Louis, but he canceled the one Pier 14 show that I was supposed to see in New York with my friend. So unfortunate, so unfortunate. But um, if you're a Harry, join me. Love you, love to have you. Also, why are we called Stylers? Why are we called Harry's? I hate that. Anyways, please join me. Along with music, I really enjoy getting creative with painting, makeup, um, and I make jewelry. I'm planning on opening an Etsy shop and a Depop shop because I really enjoy thrifting. And so I want to thrift flip clothes and then sell them on Depop as well as I just want to thrift flip clothes for myself. I just love thrifted clothes. This is thrifted, love it. And I want to, like I said, start making jewelry and selling that. I am currently really into acrylic pouring. I'm really bad at it, but I'm trying. So if you want a custom acrylic pour, um, I'm working on those. And when the Etsy shop and Depop store go live, hopefully I will either insert a little clip into a video or make an entire video about it just because I think it's kind of interesting. So just let me, let me know um, what you guys would like to see. And yeah, that is what 2021 is gonna hold for me, hopefully, hopefully. Also, I'm gonna use that money um, to save up for my study abroad. I really wanna go to England in 2022. I've always wanted to go. Um, my grandma's from England and yeah, I just, I really wanna go. So if you wanna help me with my study abroad fund, buy from my Etsy shop when it's live. Another thing about me is I recently got into yoga. I love yoga. Um, it's really been helpful to me. I took it as my PE credit for college and I just every single day of my life I'm like let me let me do some stretches love it relaxing good for the body and mind um, I really love yoga with Adrienne here on YouTube she's my favorite I love her dog Benji so cute and she's just been really helpful um, just for like me getting into yoga I feel like her visualizations of things are like really helpful like when you're closing your eyes and trying to visualize your breath like i don't know what how she explains it is very helpful to me so if you want to get into yoga i'd really recommend her channel she's great some other youtubers i really love are fashion and blogger type youtubers like sierra schultz alexis sunshine 83 um Loe lane which i mean she kind of does spooky stuff as well bella fiori i love um love her mystery mondays those are super fun for me snitchery literally changed made me change my entire makeup routine i love her um i also really love mina lee mina lay i don't know how to pronounce her name right i think it's mina lee um but her her fashion and vintage like type channel is super interesting to me and then i also love michelle platty because i love her conspiracy theory type videos and recently i've been getting into corpse husband oh god i know um I just didn't understand like why everyone was thirsting over him on my Twitter timeline every day of my life and now I get it so yeah just please welcome me into the phantom. <laughs> so last thing I'd like to say before I go is I have already filmed a video um, about my experience with Curology and how it was terrible so that will be coming out after this video but um, if you guys want me to film anything just let me know what kind of content you'd like to see. Um, I, I'm thinking about making a video about what I learned from being in a longer term relationship and getting out of it and kind of like that transition period, being in a longer term relationship to being single, it's really hard. And I feel like that video can be helpful to a lot of people. Um, a lot of people broke up in 2020 for some reason. Um, so if you guys would like to see that as well, let me know. Um, but that is all for this video. I'm going to link some of my social medias down below. If you'd like to check me out, follow me. And just thank you so much for watching this. Bye.